Yo, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be watching and reacting to Hereditary? I think that's how you pronounce it, unless I'm just really dumb. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. It won the polls on Patreon when it comes to the horror movies because I wanted to do some more horror movies, so I put a bunch of horror movies on a poll and this one won. Another movie I will be doing that is horror is I Know What You Did Last Summer. A lot of you Scream fans have been asking for that. I will be doing that at some point. Didn't even put that on the polls, but just because the reception for the screen videos have been so good, I think I should do that movie for sure, but um, that'll be soon. I've got a lot of other movies I gotta do as well, so it's a little hectic right now, but I'm trying to get through them as quickly as I can for you guys. But this movie, I know nothing about. Not a single thing. So it's one of those movies where I'm going into it completely fresh, haven't seen a single thing about it. All I've seen is the poster, which is up here somewhere. Right, 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 right there, right there. It's all I've seen. I don't know. I just see a looks like a mom and a, a, their kid. I, I don't know. That's all I could see. I think I don't know what that thing is on the table. I can't really tell what it is from here, but I don't know. It's a horror movie. That's all I know. So not much else to say. If you want to see the full uncut versions reaction, that'll be up on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to these videos. So let's get right into the movie. I know Midsummer is another movie that's I'm not sure if it's made by the same i think it's by the same production company or something i don't know it's related to this movie in some way i think it's i'm not sure if it's oh there's too much words here okay so someone died and there's a funeral be yeah, a midsummer is another movie that i think i'd like to do at some point i wonder how scary this is gonna be i don't get scared easily from movies so it's gotta try hard to scare me the quality is amazing i think i Got, I rented some uh, like Ultra HD versions, so this quality should be really good, but that, that shit looks clean. The only horror movie to legitimately scare the shit out of me was Sinister, which is a movie I think came out in 2012. Hopefully this could do that too. I'd love to be scared. The music is very eerie. That is a nice ass transition. It's heartening to see so many strange new faces here today. I know my mom would be very touched. And probably a little suspicious. <laughs> she had private rituals, private friends. Is there going to be some sinister things about this grandmother? Is she going to haunt them or something? I still can't get over how good the quality is. What, is she allergic to peanuts or something? Should I be sad? Oh, jeez. A little sad. Mm. He doesn't feel seem that affected. Oh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Even when you're a little baby, she wouldn't let me feed you because she needed to feed you. She wanted me to be a boy. Why do you think that? You know, I was a tomboy when I was growing up. I hated dresses and dolls and pink. Oh, this is the same lady from The Sixth Sense. I just realized this is this this is the mom from The Sixth Sense. I, I felt like it was, but I couldn't tell for sure. I just looked it up real quick. It looked like her, but obviously she's a little she's a bit older now, about twenty years later, so I wonder if this is gonna be similar to the sixth sense. What did she do? What sacrifice is she talking about? Something sus has went on with this with her mom. I don't I don't know, man. What the fuck? She's just seeing things. She's right. She's just seeing things. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that is kind of creepy. <laughs> I, I get what the image is trying to portray because her mom was always trying to take care of her daughter, I, I guess. But like, that's just creepy as fuck. <laughs> Dude, the music in the background's it's kind of intense. It's like really subtle, but it's something. What the shit? Why doesn't she seem fathomed by that at all? Why is she looking at the scissors? Because he literally refuses to look at all the signs that are being literally handed to him the entire play. Are we going to be seeing signs here about something? If it's all just inevitable, then that means that the characters had no hope. They never had hope because they're all just like hopeless. What kind of look was that? That, that was a weird look. I don't, I don't know what kind of look that was supposed to be. I can't tell if it was a stop looking at my ass look. 
or if it was a you're kind of cute look i don't fucking know ew ew what are you doing girl what are you doing that's what she wanted the scissors for who's that is that supposed to be the grandmother hey dad it's a cemetery they're gonna, they're gonna say the body was digged up or something what does that mean you desecrated oh is she like still alive my mom was old, and she wasn't altogether there. And we were pretty much estranged before that, so it really wasn't a huge blow. But I did love her. And she didn't have an easy life. She had DID, which became extreme at the end. And my father died when I was a baby from starvation uh, because he had psychotic depression. And he starved himself, which I'm sure was just as pleasant as it sounds. God damn. My older brother had schizophrenia. And when he was 16, he hanged himself in my mother's bedroom. Holy shit. What the fuck? That is a crazy family. She's completely manipulative until my husband finally enforced a no contact rule, which lasted until I got pregnant with my daughter. Not that she was really even my mom at the end, and not that she would ever really be able to get back. This is a good way for them to exposition dump us. Probably the best way possible. She's a great actress, though. She also was in The Sixth Sense. She's also a bit of a MILF, I'll be honest. <laughs> what was that, like, light? Dude, I love the soundtrack. That shit's creepy as hell. And music is huge in horror movies. Like, it really sets the tone of the music's creepy as shit. You are going to this- hey, socks off. You're going to this party with your brother. What party? Some school hangout with other kids. That's okay. No, it's not okay. You're going. <laughs> he looks pissed. But what is he gonna do then? This looks so modern and the house threat looks so, like, old. Definitely want to keep an eye on your sister, not gonna lie. This is definitely gonna be like a slow burn type of a movie. Please, just, it'll be two minutes and then we can hang out. You can draw. Please, Charlie, I'm... <laughs> they're giving out chocolate cake walk over and stand there and they'll give you a piece she's looking at the knife <laughs> what's up oh no there's peanuts in it oh shit you should really carry an EpiPen on you at all times holy shit don't get an accident Oh my god. Please don't fall out the- Oh! Oh, she's fucking dead! There's no coming back from that. That might have been one of the most fucked up scenes I've seen in a movie in a long time. Holy shit. I don't even want to see that. He can't even process his emotions. Well, you gotta do something. I don't know if this kid's like really fucked up in the head and he's only crying because he's scared about getting in trouble or if he's actually crying because his fucking sister just fucking died. I don't know. But uh, I have no idea. I can't think of a scene in a movie that I've seen that's more fucked up than what just happened there. I don't know if she's dead dead or if she's gonna come back as a ghost like the grandma has been. I, I, I like how they're making him just break down like this. It's a realistic. Oh, was she still in the car? I thought she fell out of the car. See, I thought when her... Bro, that might have been one of the most disturbing images I've ever seen in my entire fucking life in a movie. Oh my god. This isn't even scary. This is just fucked up. Oh, we're not, we're only, we're not even halfway through the movie yet, so it might get even scarier. I don't know, but like, this is just fucked up right now.
So her head literally came off when it hit. I thought she her body whole f like flew out of the car as well, but the pole took off her head. That makes sense. She was going like 80. And the body was just in the car, just sitting there. I don't know. What, what did the kid even tell the parents? I don't even know. What the fuck did you guys make me watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking stoners. <laughs> Is he good? I think I'm having some, like a reaction. What? Ah, my throat is. I think my throat is getting weaker. Wait, what? Maybe it was just a panic attack. I, 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 I don't know. What the hell's in the car? No, it's the. Oh, it's the mom. Okay. <laughs> they, they made that creepy, dude. They made that really creepy. My son and. My grandson drowned four months ago. Holy shit. The little one was seven. Oh my god. I've been coming here for a couple of months now, and it has helped. These support group things are really helpful, I gotta say. I mean, I would assume for a lot of different issues that people go through, because when you find like minded people who, well, not like minded people, but like mind people who experience the same thing, basically, or similar things, talking to people who haven't experienced the same thing as you, it's not, you're not gonna get that far most likely what the fuck i heard the tongue click they could all be crazy and just seeing things but i don't think they're all collectively seeing things and i was standing there with a box of matches and an empty can of paint thinner and i woke myself up striking a match which also woke peter up and he started to scream and i immediately put the match out immediately is paint thinner flammable I was just as shocked as he was. And it was I know that. impossible to convince them that it was just sleepwalking. I think there was some sinister shit going on. Like, we're talking paranormal shit. And Peter always held it against me. And there is nothing I can say and nothing I can do. That's crazy. For all that to happen while you're sleeping. Okay, what the fuck? Why are you, why are you making shit like this? Like, you're, you're taking it too far. You took it too far with the other ones. You're taking it too far with these ones. I, why? Why would you? There's no reason to do that. You okay, Mom? What? Is there something on your mind? Is there something on your mind? It just seems like there might be something you want to say. Like what? I mean, why would I want to say something so I could watch you sneer at me? <laughs> okay, so fine, then say what you want to say then. Peter. I don't want to say anything. I've tried saying Okay, things. so try again. Release yourself. Oh, release you, you mean? Yeah, fine, release me. Just say it. Just fucking say it. Don't you swear at me, you little shit. Don't you ever raise your voice at me. I am your mother. So full of disdain and resentment and always so annoyed. Well, now your sister is dead. And I know you miss her. And I know it was an accident, and I know you're in pain, and I wish I could take that away for you. I wish I could shield you from the knowledge that you did what you did, but your sister is dead! A1 Nobody acting. Nobody admits anything they've done! Holy shit. <laughs> Bro, what is, what is her name? Lynn Collins or something? I forget. Hold on. No, actually, this is Lynn Collins. No, not Lynn Collins. What the fuck? What, 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 what name am I conjuring? Tawny Collette. A1 acting. She conjured my grandson. The fuck? No, no, no. I know, I know, I know what that smile is. I know, Annie. Annie. Louis, if you are here with us. I would be terrified if I was her right now. <laughs> and slide the glass. If you're here. Oh! Hi, Louis. Hi, Louis. How did you do that? If it's no, slide it the other way. You understand? What the fuck? Are you in pain? No! Oh, it's okay. It's <laughs> that would be freaking out the same way. <laughs> I'm sorry, can we stop? What? I'm sorry, please. I... Louis? That's a really realistic 
reaction to this. I'm sorry. Thank you. No, no, it's okay. Thank it's you. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would be terrified too. Like I don't blame her. This is a weird fucking movie, man. It's not what I was expecting at all. Like at all. I don't know what to expect, really. <gasps> why? Why you gotta do that to me, bro? <laughs> why you gotta do that to me? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to sleep after knowing that ghosts exist. The bro. Wait, the sun. The sun. What the hell is? What the hell? Mom. What the fuck? Let's go. I never wanted to be your mother. Oh. Why? I was scared. I didn't feel like a mother, but she pressured me. Then why did you have me? It wasn't my fault. I tried to stop it. Why are they sweating? Why is there a match? <laughs> Bro, what the f I, I really I really don't know what's happening anymore. We need our palms on the table and our fingers to touch. Please. What are we doing here, Annie? Please, you'll see. Think about Charlie if you can. Oh fuck. Fuck Sweetheart, sake. please, please. Oh, I tried this 20 minutes geez. ago and it worked. I would not be worked. bringing you down here if it didn't. Hopefully something happens so she, they don't think she's crazy. <laughs> yes, thank you, Charlie. That was so <laughs> I got a feeling something fucked up's gonna happen. I don't know. I don't know. You can see their heart rates increasing. Increasing like crazy on the two guys. That's enough. What? No! Let it happen! Um, you okay? Why does it sound like she's a fucking zombie? Um. Hello? Mom? Mom? Dad, I don't like this. What's happening? Please stop. Please, please. What's going stop on? This. Mom! Please, you really freak me out. Please stop. What's Dad, happening? Why is stop, everyone please? scared? Is that Charlie's voice? This shit's starting to get creepy now. I actually, the whole movie's been creepy. What am I talking about? What the fuck? Again with the fucking tongue clicking. What the fuck? Oh, what? And is there a dog in there now? You were pulling on my head. What the what fuck? No, that's Peter. I see the little mole. Does she want to kill Peter for essentially causing her death and indirectly? Probably shouldn't burn that. I feel like she'll get pissed. Yep, I knew it. She wasn't gonna have that shit. Was the burning part of you, or could you have taken off your shirt? I, I don't know. I really do like the soundtrack. Why do I see a picture of Peter? What the fuck? Oh my god, those are her toys. What the fuck? Joan? That to me. Possession? Wait, Joan? Um... Why is she in... Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> now whose body is that? Oh. 
She probably hasn't eaten or drank anything in a while. She probably doesn't have anything to throw up. <laughs> what the fuck? Peter. Peter, what's wrong? What the fuck? She's definitely doing this to him. Why is this douchebag up to record? There's always that one douchebag that just has to be like. If we don't destroy this. Well, how are you gonna destroy it if it destroys you? So it's deeper than just Charlie wanting to kill him. A lot deeper than that. Dude, the guy's like, what the fuck, man? What, what, what'd I get myself into? I should have married someone else. <laughs> I don't think he believes that it's gonna set him set her on fire, but as we know from before, it's gonna do it. You are sick, Annie. You see what's going on, though. Oh my God, him! Why did it switch up to make it him instead? Like what? I don't know what the outcome is going to be here. I, I just... Uh, I don't know. What the fuck? That's the guy... From before. I remember seeing him smile. At him at what was it the funeral I think? Smiled at somebody. Why was he there butt ass naked? I... What the fuck? Oh my god, what the fuck, dude? What are you looking at? Holy shit. Whatever that spirit was just went into him, I think. Oh, it's the daughter. This soundtrack playing right now, I feel like I've heard it before somewhere. I don't know if it's originally from this or not. Our payment, one of the eight kings of hell. Holy shit. We have looked to the northwest and called you in. We've corrected your first female body and give you now this healthy male. Oh yeah, that's what they wanted, the male host. But it's still Charlie in the body. Hail Payman! Hail Payman! That may just be the most fucked up movie I've ever watched. Why did you guys make me watch that? <laughs> What the fuck did I just witness? It was good. It was good, but it was... Ah. The directing and acting stand out. It's definitely stood out to me. Especially the acting um, from the main lead roles. I mean, there's a lot of moments that allow them to shine, obviously. Like, she was really good in Sixth Sense as well, but there's a lot more moments here that just allowed her to kind of just give it her all. And great job on that. The kid as well. I don't know the, the actor of the kid's name, but... The, Peter. I don't know the actor's name, but he did a great job as well. I loved a lot of the directing style as well, a lot of the shots, how they did a lot of different angles for different shots and stuff. And in, in terms of horror, like, was it scary? It was more disturbing than it was scary. I think scary is a different type of thing than disturbing. It was more like anxiety inducing type disturbing, which is definitely really good for horror, especially of this type. So I think they, they nailed it there. The story is the one thing that 
even I think I have to rewatch it to fully understand. I understood the majority of it, especially the ending kind of explained a lot of it, but there's still some moments here and there where I'm like, what was happening there? You know what I mean? I really want to see the full picture, so I think this is a movie that would be really good to rewatch. Maybe watch some explanation videos on it, because I understand some really confusing movies out there, but this is one of them that I think I need to rewatch to fully grasp the full story, but I did really like what it was going for and what it was doing, and I think it did a great job executing it with how good the directing was and the acting, as I said before. So, yeah, I liked it a lot. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you want to see the full uncut, that'll be available on my Patreon, which is in the description down below, as well as early access to videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Peace out.